Hello and welcome, I'm David Mortimer, Technical Manager at DMS Metering Solutions. Today we're bringing you a video looking at the SuperCal 5S heat meters. This is the latest offering from Sontex in their range of heat metering products. Uh, this new design of meter brings with it a lot of enhancements and features that will benefit installers and users alike. Uh, we'd like to showcase a few of those features today. First of which is a new way to program and commission the meters. Uh, the SuperCal 5s have been fitted with an output called NFC, Near Field Communication. This allows us to wirelessly talk to the meters using an Android device and set up some of the finer settings such as MBUS primary address, date and time, units of measurement and even changing the mounting position from the return to the flow potentially. Uh, if you would like a copy of this software, please get in touch with the team. Uh, we'll send you a download link and a license to activate. Software is all available free of charge. Make sure your Android device has NFC capability and is on generally the latest version of the Android software. So we first open the SuperProg application and it wants us to identify what device we are talking to. So this will allow us to talk to the SuperCal 5. It's now identified that it's a SuperCal 5 we're working with. I've just selected install and configure. So now we go back on. It's detecting the device, talking to it taking a little bit more information. As the loading bar fills up, we'll then move to a different screen. This is where we can now change some of the settings. So it will be visible. We go into the base settings. Uh, as you can see at the moment, the MBUS primary address is set to 17. Uh, why don't we change that? We're gonna go, let's go up a number. I actually want it to be 18 instead. So now on the software, you can either hit the tick in the top right hand corner or at the bottom of the screen, there is the accept button. We'll use the accept. There's a little prompt. Do you want to uh, set the changes? Yes, we do. We're gonna press okay. Now we have to just pop the meter back on front of the SuperCal uh, and again, loading bar, and as you can see, very quickly will activate. So now those settings have been implemented. Uh, we've now changed the primary address. As I say, there are more settings you can change within the meter as well. The next thing I'd like to show is uh, a function on the meters where they will be delivered in an unsealed state. Uh, this sealing process, as we're calling it, is a commissioning step for the SuperCal 5 heat meters. Essentially, in an unsealed state, we can change some of the settings with the app. So we can change the MBUS address, the date and time, that sort of thing. But as you see, it does mean that the screen will be flashing. Um, so to seal the meters, it's very simple. You can either do it with the software. You may have seen there, there was a tick box, tick here to seal the device during programming, very simple. If you're not using the Android and you just wanna quickly seal these up as you are doing the installation, uh, make sure the meter is showing this screen, conf via NFC or seal. And if we hold down the left hand button for about two seconds, the screen will change to confirm before sealing. We hold down the same button again for about two seconds and the screen will then change. My particular model uh, doesn't have the temperature sensors connected, so we're currently in an error screen. But your meter, once installed and wired up, would show the accumulated energy. So this is the live data from the heat meter and it also shows the accumulated volume. The main thing you can see is that, of course, now the screen is no longer flashing at us. And that conf via NFC or seal screen is also gone as well. Um, so now the meter is ready to go, and ready to measure for all your needs. Uh, last little thing I want to mention is about the mounting of the SuperCal 5. Um, it can be mounted on a DIN rail, so I will turn the meter around here. We have just an easy spring fit DIN rail bracket here, so it will mount onto a DIN rail as such. Uh, but also if you're screwing the meter directly into the wall, we have these three little winglets, as I like to call them, that pop out. And so now we can put screws straight through into the wall and mount it safely and easily. That's everything I've got today for you on the SuperCal 5, but do stay tuned for more news. If you've got some interest in this product or indeed any of the products across the DMS range, please feel free to get in touch via email or give us a call in the office. And stay subscribed for all future content from DMS and our next upcoming videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.